Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing today? Hope you're doing all right. Let's see what's going on here. I'm trying to get the stream going. For some reason, I've got for whatever it is, my latency or whatever it is. Normally on OBS, I have a little box that tells me, I guess, my signal or whatever, or the stream strength or whatever. And normally it's green, but for some reason I haven't even started it and it's red. So I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see, there's the stream there. So I don't know, since it's red, it could be, it could fall way behind like, um, like yesterday. Uh, it's, yeah, because I can already see I've got a loading, a buffering thing going on, uh, my stream on Twitch. I don't know. We're going to do it anyways. We're going to give it a try. Pick up where we left off with our girl. So, let's do it, folks. Let's see what happens. I don't know why it's doing that. It's not like I've got, you know, a hundred other things going. I've done numerous completely successful streams without it being dumb. So, I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and... We're going to go ahead and do it. Like I say, is hopefully the stream itself doesn't get like severed or anything like that. But you know me, I'm always constantly looking over here and looking over there, looking to see if I have anybody popping in chat so I'll be able to know if the uh, stream's running right. Or running at all. <laughs> all right. So, new daily reward, what do we got? Just research. Okay, let me think. Because I know Mary still has to do, do this as well. What all do we have? Let's see. Okay, we can, I'll do that. Um, we'll save this other other one because it's going to be some major traveling around and uh, I know Mary wanted to do that so we'll wait until we'll wait until Saturday to uh, finish the ones with the stones so let's go see if we can talk to Sun and Shadow I mean there's plenty of stuff still to do so there's no worries about that oh, how far away is she oh she's way over there what is that oh where one of the stones are I'm not like I said I'm not gonna bother it I'll check with Mary but it actually it really doesn't matter because um, after this stream the next stream I do will be Saturday. So we'll just wait and do it then. So that way she can do it with us. And then Sunday, of course, will be our co-op stream. Okay, I am doing this the hard way. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, I know I saw it. Or is it just just too far away. Oh, wow. I thought it was like way close. No. Darn it. Oops. There's something here. I was going to... I was going to get us out of here and just fast travel, but that clan fear somehow saw me. Okay. 
Okay, so let's try this again. It's just going to be a lot quicker if I just... If I do it like this, I can afford it. Not too terribly behind in the stream. So that's a good thing. Uh, pausing again. I wish I knew what does that. All right. Um... Talk to Sun Shadow above. Okay, so she. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I think she's. Yes, yeah, she's this way. Yeah, because I was just thinking, because uh, Mary's done this this quest line. She just hadn't done Voss. So I'm going to try to stay out of boss until Saturday and just do other stuff. All right, so... It feels weird because we just did this. Didn't we? Or we're still... Oh, no. Yeah, we were, we were doing this... Let's go check her basement, just because. Not a bad little... Well, that's kind of an odd little stove. Or a heater, I mean. I've never seen one like that in this game. Oh, what do I know? Ooh, bookshelf. I mean, yeah, Mary was doing this with us, but she's already completed this. So she was just kind of like following along. So we'll talk to her. Back so soon? Well, you're quite the negotiator. I trust you found a suitable property outside Voss. Not exactly. A dark elf swept in, bought the deed, and gave it to a wizard named uh, Jinrisa. Jinrisa. Interesting. That envious hag never misses an opportunity to stick a thumb in Firith's eye. Listen carefully. I need you to acquire that deed as quickly as possible before she makes it public that she's bought land near Voss. How do you suggest I do that? I suggest you use all available means. You can begin by searching the Adept's Hall in Telnaga. I will warn you that the Adept's Hall is not open to outsiders. You'll need to be careful while searching for the deed so as not to raise suspicion. I understand. Jinris has offered us a chance to double our winnings. If we acquire the deed and embarrass her in the process, fear it's bound to support my promotion. Alrighty then. I think we already... Yeah, we already did this part because we were already in here. How are we doing? So, at least a couple of minutes behind. Could be worse. Let me guess. For glory... Of course it is. I'm almost wanting to pick up the Four Glory quest just to start the very beginning part of it just so I can get rid of it and not have to see it again. Come on, girl. You can jump over that. There we go. Okay, so we have to go... Now, is that... Let's just get the deed from Jinrisa. So we have to go in here. And it's considered trespassing. Of course it is. We've been in here before. I cannot wait to see his face when he finds out. Oh, 
I've been caught. Oh, wonderful. Hey, what did you do that for? I asked nicely. Now the guards can deal with you. I'm trying to get out of get out of here, but it's not gonna let us. Let's see if I can't. It's not gonna let me out because I'm being attacked. Mm. I don't want. Wow, nine, that went up in a hurry, didn't it? Do I need to throw you out? Well, I'm trying to get out, but people keep attacking me. You know, it's just going to get worse because they're all going to attack me. So... <laughs> Let's just let him take us out. And if we have to re-get the... Uh... Let's see. We'll stop right here. I mean, I did pick it up. I may not have it. They may take it back. We'll see. I didn't want to go this route, but unfortunately... Let's see. Um... Oh, it didn't get... It, why is my... Uh, I'm surprised the bounty didn't go away. Maybe it's because I wasn't killed by guards. Yeah, I've, re I've left a restricted zone, but I'm going to be killed on sight. Or attacked on sight. The bad part is I can find where the guard... There's a guard. Uh-oh. <laughs> they love doing that. Let's see if I can't get out the door. Probably not. Ooh. Okay. Unfortunately, there's a house guard there. Come on. There we go. There's Sun and Shadow. Did you find the deed? I'd hate to think that clumsy wizard Jinrisa outmixed me on this. Sorry, I bumped the uh, camera with my foot. I got the deed back from Jinrisa. You can give it to Firith as you planned. Oh, no, no. I can't do it myself. It's not subtle or even polite. If a Telvanni just bluffly demands this thing or that service, I'm sorry to impose once again. But could you give the deed to Master Firith on my behalf? I suppose I can deliver it. I know I've asked a lot. Trust me, payment is forthcoming. Just offer the deed to Firith and tell him that Sun and Shadow would like his written support for elevation to the rank of retainer. Make it subtle, but not too subtle, you know. Where can I find Master Firith? Just west of here, in a place called Hanu. Firith values his privacy, so be wary of Atronauts and traps, and don't be surprised if he's a bit, uh, eccentric. Meet me in the Council Hall when you return. I have a very good feeling about this. All right, so we have... Let's see, how far do we have to travel? A long ways. 
And there's no quick way to get there. So we're just going to have to do the... Well, actually, I don't want to char just go charging in like that because I don't know where the uh, guards are. But we are going to have to go across the water. And there's a guard there. So if we just get across here... I should be safe. Yeah, I'm usually not really good at, uh, um, what you call it? Stealth missions. That's why I don't like them. House guard. I guess I wasn't that safe after all. Go around. Or something. I was going to try to head up that to that way, but I guess you have to go the other way where the house guard was. And I'm attack on sight. So let's see. Let's go over here. And Let's see. A lot of little islands. Let's see. Try to get there without getting detected by a guard. Ooh, what do we got here? Water skin. Oh man, we are behind in the stream. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking I'm looking at the stream right now and where it is according to my tablet and my phone is I'm actually still trying to get that deed. I'm steaming for some reason. Oh, I'm trying to escape. That's what it was. So I'm getting ready to Oh, yeah, I just left, so... Yeah, so I'm trying to get to Sun and Shadow in the in the actual stream now. So, yeah, we're it's getting further and further behind. I wish I knew why. Just hopefully it doesn't... You know, the stream doesn't get severed. That's... You know, or it gets interrupted to where you can't enjoy it. I don't want that. Let's see what's... Oh, looks like we're going to have some... Nixoxes probably have to fight. Yep, one just saw us. Oh, didn't get that shield up in time. Or that block. Aw, poor Shroom Beetle. I didn't mean to hit you. Oh, well. Unfortunately, those things happen. Here's a little... Seasonings. Nothing in the boats. All right, so we are headed... Are we getting there? Ah, we're almost there. All right. Ah! Nick socks. I was just trying to see his... Uh, I was trying to get a good look at their face. Because you really can't. And then they kick over. They're pretty creepy. 
Alright. Anyways, um... Almost there! Oh, yeah, there's an Atronach. Wow. Alchemy bottle. All right, let's talk to. Him. Ugh, more visitors? I have those Atronachs out there for a reason. Can't you see there's no room? Oh, for Beck's sake! Never mind. What do you want from us? <laughs> Recognize that voice actor? <laughs> Same one that does the voice of Shea Gorath. <laughs> Sun and Shadow thought you might be interested in the deed to some land outside of Voss. Did she? Not? Impressive, wouldn't you say, Geralt? Yes, I thought so too. I'm glad she chose to give it to me, and not that guar faced bumbler Jin Rissa. I suppose she wants something in return. These hirelings always do. <laughs> yes, she'd appre appreciate your written support for her promotion to retainer. Ah, yet another social climber. How tiresome. Still, exchanging a simple endorsement for valuable property seems like quite the bargain. Very well. It's a deal. Uh, get out, be a dear, and fetch me that pen. Uh, oh, fine, I'll get it myself. <laughs> do? Now, off with you. My friends and I have pressing business. So much to do! <laughs> Let's see. Esteemed counselors, I, Master Ferris, steward of Hanud, and lands beyond do hereby support and affirm Sun and Shadow's promotion to the rank of retainer in the great house Telvanni. The Argonians' grasp of our playful, uh, what is that? Uh, internecine? Don't, I don't have, uh, Mary here to, uh, correct me. <laughs> Something rivalries show a degree of pers- oh my, pers- <clears throat> Perspicacity. I actually got that one. <laughs> Not really sure what it means, but yeah, shows a degree of perspicacity I thought impossible in members of her race. For this reason alone, she deserves recognition and respect. She will serve the house well in her new role as retainer. Honor and regards, Firth, master of the great house Telvanni, steward of Hanud. Oof. Perspicacity, that's a word. Essential curry, fish, and rice. I'm not too sure about that. Whoa, that's a step. So now we have to deliver the writ to Sun and Shadow. And she's way over there. Goodness, she doesn't waste any time, does she? Oh, well, we should have... Oh, I... I want to say we're going to have an uneventful uh, trip, but I've got over a thousand gold bounty on my head. It's going to happen. I'm going to get caught. Because this is going to take way too long to just get rid of just by time alone. I'll try. As long as I can, but once it just becomes too much of a pain, I'll just let them... Uh, Oh no, they would attack. Yeah, they would attack me and kill me. I would just let them do it. It would get rid of uh, my bounty, you know, and we'd be able to go unhindered. Now, if I was playing, you know, you know, a bad character, then I would have just killed everybody in that building, and then I wouldn't have to really, you know, worry too much. I still have a massive bounty, but I really wouldn't care. Because that's part of that type of 
lifestyle? Or adventuring? You're gonna play that way? Ah! Run! Run! No! No! <laughs> no? I'm almost out of stamina. Well, we avoided that one. Did he make it back? <laughs> he did. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see if I can get to her without being spotted. In the meantime, continue your study. Where is she? It shows her right there, right where that damn guard is. Why? Fine. Let's go get this one in on it so we can at least double it. Alright, come on. Let's do this. Because I don't know where she is. And she should be right here, so let's just go ahead and get it over with. There we go. Yep, you are now upstanding. You will no longer be attacked by the law. Certainly hope not. They killed me in broad daylight. Your hands where I can see them. I'm invisible. You can't see me. Or my hands. Okay, she's supposed to be here. Something happened. Can I go inside this building? Step, maybe if I step in and then step right out again, maybe that will reset it. Because for some reason, her, she just wasn't there. Well, where is she? Um, I don't know where she is. She's supposed to be right here. She said she'd meet right outside the house. Right outside. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't have any other really quests that I can do to try to see if I can get time to pass. Um, all right, let's see. Um... I know. I will take away shrine somewhere else, then come back and see if that resets it. Okay, so we are at Sadrith Mora just for giggles. Now I'm not sure if it shows her even further away, but hopefully this will do it. Ah, there she is. We will review the request soon. In the meantime, continue your studies. Blue Saracen is most kind. I thank you. Yep. Sometimes that's what you have to do. Because she was supposed to be here. She wasn't. I don't know why. But sometimes that's what you got to do. Leave to where you get a loading screen and then come back. That usually fixes it. Ha, I recognize that swagger. Firith agreed to my demands, didn't he? Yes, Master Firith agreed to endorse you. Excellent. I ran into Counselor Angharal just a moment ago. Totally by chance, I might add. I asked her about the potential for advancement. She hedged a bit. This endorsement will make all the difference. Here's the writ. Ferris seems seemed pleased with the deal. Well, that makes two of us. 
I took no pleasure in spending all that coin. But as a retainer, I'll be able to double that sum before long. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a writ to deliver. Thank you again, my friend. Always. She is busy and in a hurry. Let's see. Oh, that was Ioki! Wasn't it? I recognized that voice just as I was trying to open the... just as I was opening the door. There's Ioki. Ah. I see you have been tramping through the mud. Feel free to stamp your feet. Despite my best efforts, I have come very close to completing a task. In truth, I enjoy sweeping the dock, counting the ripples in the water. It feels like home. Any news? My heart and I have barely spoken. She strains her spines both day and night, pouring through tomes and hatching her schemes. Her eyes are fixed on the next rank, and the next after that. I fear for her. A soul without rest grows dim as twilight. So she hasn't shared her next plan with you? No, she has not. All to the good, I guess. A finless fish weakens the shoal. But enough about me. You, my friend, are a mighty swimmer. Seek her out in her stone-dwelling place. If I know my heart... She will certainly have a task for you. I'll talk to her. <laughs> I think I'll go pretend to work somewhere else. <laughs> Look at him walking with his head down. Poor Yoki. <laughs> I mean, look at him. Look at the way he's walking. He's just... He is so broken. Aww. <laughs> poor, poor Yoki. That is a broken Argonian, my friend. My friends. <laughs> is definitely a broken Argonian. Oh my gosh, the stream is so far behind. I'm in the stream I'm reading the the writ that that guy gave us to give to Sun and Shadow. So yeah, it is really far behind. Well, look at you. All right, talk to Sun Shadow again. Always pleasure to see you, Sarah. I'm glad you dropped by. I could use a friend right now. What's going on? I just received a summons from the council. Typically, I'd be overjoyed. After all, I just submitted a petition for advancement to Othman. But the council never acts on petitions this quickly. Someone's arranging pieces on the game board. I know it. What are you asking me to do? If a member of the house plans to spring a trap, I need to project strength. The counselors know you've assisted me in the past. If you appear before the mouse on my behalf, it puts the magisters and I on equal footing. It might even save my life. All right, I'll go to the council house in your stead. Thank you, my friend. Be careful. Well, before I do that, unfortunately, I have got to take a little dash to the loo. So I'll be back in just a little bit. <laughs> Sorry about that, but what are you going to do? It happens. And it'll give the stream uh, time to try to catch up. So I'll be back in just a little bit.
All right, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Get rid of that notification again. All right. Well, it's still quite a ways behind, unfortunately. Yeah, in the stream, I had just gotten killed by the guards. So, it is a long ways behind, unfortunately. Oh well. I was checking my checking the, the speed according to it, and uh, it says I'm run. It says I'm running uh, between fifteen and twenty one hundred kilobytes per second, and I have no idea why. That's why it's so far behind. And that's why it's running in the red. No clue why. Wait, that's an that's an orcish woman. I wonder why her name's uh stuck out to me. It's like that you know, it didn't seem um Argonian. That's why she wasn't our gunny. I mean, I didn't look that closely. I wasn't looking for a tail or anything like that. I just know somebody's sweeping. Goodness, I'm supposed to go up there? Okay. Wait a minute. There's nothing in anybody in here, is there? There's somebody in there. Won't let me talk to him. Here we go. Here's where we're supposed to go in. Yeah, that's where that guard was when I pulled him and pulled that other one from wherever he was at, probably that one, and had them kill me. Go before the council. So... I have to go through the... Well, it didn't... See, it didn't light... It didn't... That marker didn't show up. So now we're going. Up we go. Is any further honors for the slave girl? Oh, look, the lizard sent a representative. Such pretensions. Approach, emissary. You may inform your benefactress, Sun in Shadow, that the council has elected to reject her petition. Be sure to add that all further petitions will meet the same fate. Cats and lizards have no place in our great house. Honestly, Velasa. Don't worry, Velasa. The emissary will give Sun and Shadow a full account of this meeting. I have no doubt. There is no greater virtue than ambition, but I'm afraid Sun and Shadow's enthusiasm has rubbed a few of our number the wrong way. Is there some reason I can give Sun and Shadow for the Council's refusal? Beyond the obvious? Your friend possesses a keen mind and great natural talent, but even the Great House Tovani is not above simple prejudice. Circumstances of her birth make advancement complicated. It seems that uh, Rolasa Delvi is particularly opposed to Sun and Shadow. Yes, Rolasa hates practically everyone, but she's developed a particular distaste for Sun and Shadow. I can't tell if it's truly the will of Dothrin or just a personal vendetta. Both of them revile lesser races, a perfect match if ever there was one. Do you have any advice I can give Sun and Shadow? I would counsel patience, but I have no illusions. Sun and Shadow will dismiss such advice out of hand. Her dreams can only be deferred for so long. I say only this. Whatever she plans to do, make sure she does it cautiously. Okay, thank you for your time. Sun and Shadow will stand before us again. I only hope that it's for a promotion and not something less pleasant. Believe it or not, these meetings can go far worse. Honor to you and your house, Sarah. Farewell. Ooh, optional step. We can talk to Velasa. Damn. Where are those cakes? Come to have words with me, have you? Well, let's get it over with. 
I have things to do. <laughs> Can you tell she's got a frost staff? <laughs> Why are you so fixated on preventing Sun and Shadow from advancing in House Telvanni? I merely speak for Musera Gothrid. His distaste for Sun and Shadow should come as no surprise. Beasts have no place in the house. You may want to rethink the company you keep, Outlander. Just a bit of advice. Let's see. Um, what do we want to do? Well, let's go with this one first. If you were so free with advice, what would you advise Sun and Shadow? I suggest she leave Vardenfell. Travel to Daggerfall or Wayrest and join the Mage's Guild. I hear they take anyone. She would fit right in. The fact is, she has no place here. She may have earned her freedom, but she will never be a true Telvanni. Why do you hate Argonians and Khajiits so much? I don't hate them. I just see the truth of their nature. Argonians and Khajiit make wonderful servants. But to pretend they possess the same faculties as Myrrh, or even men, is absurd. They were born to serve just as we were born to rule. <laughs> well. <laughs> She's a little stu stuck on herself, isn't she? Ah! Oh, there's Sun and Shadow. Sorry, I grew tired of waiting. I received more than a few sideward glances on my way over. What happened in there? The council rejected your petition. Oh, I see. But maybe I was too impatient. Requested it too soon. Damn! Did they give any reason? Was there anyone who spoke out against it? Gothrin's mouth, Ralasa Delvi, seemed dead set against it. Of course it was Ralasa. That pig has hated me from the start. Gothrin's not fond of Elgonians, but this is clearly personal. Would you act as my emissary once more? If you go to tell Arun and speak to Gothrin directly, maybe he can settle this. I'll try. I have a few questions, though. I'll answer what I can, of course. Why do the Magisters have people who act as their mouth? Most Telvanni Magisters prefer to be left alone. They dislike and mistrust each other. So they appoint mouths to handle business outside their towers. Of course, the Magister's wishes and the mouth's wishes often get tangled. It's imperfect. Sounds like it. Just trust me, it's better this way. If the counselors had to deal with each other directly, there would be no peace in Vardenfell. You wouldn't jam a bunch of aelids into a pen together. Mages need room to stretch, room to breathe. Seems like Telvanni mages need a lot of things. I never said House Delvani was perfect. We take the good with the bad. When I sit on the council, I'll put things right. How's that? Let's see. Uh, you seem to be able to do what you, what you want as a retainer. Is the Oathman rank so important? Yes. When I achieve the rank of Oathman, I should be able to purchase a slave. I'll free Eoki and we'll toast to our success. That is what we've been working toward. I know that some of this feels a little unsavory, but it's necessary. None of this troubles you? A Telvanni mage doesn't have time to be troubled. Every day I learn something new. Every day I peel back one mystery to reveal another ten beneath it. If this is the price of that kind of discovery, I'll pay it. Well, that came out poorly. I... never mind. Hmm. <laughs> starting to sound like she's not the sweet innocent little mage that we're we started out with but guess we'll find out as we continue keep going huh so now we have to what travel to Telerune. all right let's see where is i'm sure I've been, we've been there more than once already Excuse me. There's Telerune, so that'll be a short, short little jaunt. Ah, 
kind of a land bridge thing. Usually, if there isn't a land bridge, if you could try to find the closest point, you know, where it's the narrowest, then a lot of times it's going to be shallow that you can just run across. You don't have to worry about getting dismounted or have to swim if you were on foot. Now I can come up here and not have to worry about being accosted or attacked by this guard. Here's another Argonian. Not one we can talk to. Alright. Teleroon. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting that to be a building. I wasn't expecting it to be a gate to a... to a village. Or... Or is it? I don't know. Um, okay, yeah, it is like a little, a little, first I thought it was just one big building, but, I don't know. Arum's closed, so piss off, you little scam. <laughs> she says that, and immediately my character pulls out a dagger. Hmm. <laughs> you got Nick spit in your ears? Tell Arun's closed. Jog off, you fetch an inch out. Man, nasty. I need to speak with Magister Gothrin. Yeah, well, I need a stiff drink and a good plow, but you don't see me knocking on strangers' doors, belly aching about it. Magister Gothrin's not seeing any visitors. Not today, not tomorrow, and not next week. So shove off, go off face. <laughs> Let's see. So we've got. I only need a couple of minutes of his time, or perhaps if you look closer, there might be an opening in his schedule and try to bribe with 261 gold, or try persuade. It's urgent. His mouth may be disobeying orders. Let's go with that one. <laughs> disobeying orders, eh? Yeah, that sounds like Rolasa. Skeevy little Nick's always sliming around the tower, jamming pies in her gob and pushing us around to do mark with her. Go ahead. But if I find out you're lying, I'll put a knife in your eye. Duly noted. It didn't say lie, did it? And we did say maybe disobe disobeying orders. We didn't say definitely for certain. So if she's not, then you'd be like, guess I was wrong. I thought there was a bookshelf. That's what I'm looking for. It's bookshelves. Ooh, there's a pretty, pretty painting. That's kind of neat. Uh, nope, no bookshelves here. All right, let's go to his audience chamber. had enough of your excuses. Relasa made your task plain. Find those thieves. I'm sorry, Magister. It will be done. Whatever it is you want, talk to my cringing assistant. <laughs> Fine, I'll talk to your cringing assistant. Ah, greetings. I I'm sorry you had to see that. Magister Ghostwritten is really quite charming once you get to know him. Uh, honestly, he wouldn't have yelled if Rolasa's little snoop, Captain Girabo, hadn't interfered. I need to speak with the Magister about my associate, Sun and Shadow's petition for advancement. Ah, that. Uh, I'm sorry, but Rolasa is determined to keep your Argonian from advancing. Typical. I should be mouth. Say, I might have an idea. The thieves Mothsera Gothrin mentioned fled to Shosh Pilamat. Could you retrieve the goods they stole? Shosh Pilamat. 
They love those really weird words. <laughs> I'm now on Be Right Back <laughs> in the stream. Man, it's so far behind. As long as it doesn't sever, that's all I care about. If I have to let it sit at the end for a while, let it get caught up, okay, I don't care. Just don't break the, the stream. <laughs> all right, um, I could, but why should I? Spoken like a true Telvanni. If you bring the goods to me in Sidrith Mora, I'll take credit for their safe return. Malassa's has gone to great lengths to discredit me, you see. My Lucera knows this. If I succeed, he'll see that I am the fitter servant. How does that help Sun and Shadow? Lucera Guthman will undoubtedly provoke me to mouth. Then, in exchange for your help, I'll support your Argonian's petition. One good turn and all that. What do you say? It's a deal. I'll meet you in Sadrith Mora, but I have a few questions first. I can't wait to see the look on Rolasa's face when Lutsera Gothrin strips her of her title. And the groveling, the groveling will be delicious. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, I have some questions. Of course. Uh, what can the future mouth of Lutsera Gothrin help you with? Uh, what did the thieves steal from Magister Gothrin? A great many things, I'm sorry to say. They pilfered an ancient tome, a rare pendant, and a purse full of gold. Of course, my master was most aggrieved by the loss of several slaves. Strong workers, all. Lucera Gothrin is sick with worry. I am not a slave trader. No, of course not. I didn't mean to assume. Truth be told, I have always been a fierce but very quiet proponent of beast rights. If you return the tome, pendant, and gold, I think Lutsera Gothrin will still promote me, albeit with a heavy heart. How did the thieves manage to get into Tel Telerun to steal things? Well, I can't say for sure, but there's a good chance the missing slaves stole Lutsera Gothrin's property before fleeing Tel Arun. Oh. and other people smugglers sometimes accept magic items as payment. So would they be doubly punished if they were returned? I'm sure I wouldn't know. My master has a kind and gentle disposition, but children sometimes need discipline, yes? It would really be Slave Master Arenum's prerogative. Unfortunately, she can be... irascible. <laughs> uh, you seem very quick to cut a deal with a stranger. You should know by now that Telvanni alliances often start as fluid affairs. Uh, not that our relationship is fluid. What we've got going here? Rock solid. Sun and Shadow's intentions align with my own. It only makes sense that we should be partners. Alright, so now we have to go to... Shashpilamat. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, uh, there we say I remembered seeing a bookcase bookshelf. I wonder if we can go in there. Nope. I didn't think so, but it was worth looking. Ah, he oh, nope. That's just a cupboard with some fancy boxes on it. Here's some instruments that we can't touch. We'd be stealing from that. Any more bookshelves? What's over here? Mm, doesn't look like it. Nope. All right. Down we go. And take this report to Mouth Rolasa immediately. Yes, Captain. It will be done. Can we talk? Yeah, let's try talking to him. Here's a bit of free advice. If you cross Rolasa Delvi, you cross Magister Gothrin. Believe me when I say you do not want to cross Magister Gothrin. Who are you? Captain Giravel. Anointed ombudsman to mouth Rolasa Delvi. Noticed you upstairs. Magister Gothrun has little patience for interfering strangers. Even less for interfering assistants like Aerith Sendral. I'll keep that in mind. I hope you will. For your sake. Didn't get anything interesting from him, but you just never know. Right. Oh. Wait. Why is that say... Oh, that's right. That's just that's the door out. I was like, why is that so close? I 
keep realizing that you have to take a go through a gate to leave that settlement, I guess. All right, well, that's the way. Let's see how far away it is. Where is it? Whew, way over there, huh? Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do because we're a ways away. I could ride to the Sadrith Mora Way Shrine. I'm looking at the time. Yeah, I think that's... I don't want to keep spending the money to just jump, you know. I mean, you can if you have it, but... You know, that builds up. So... And not everybody can afford to do that. Not everybody wants to. I mean, you know, that's one of the things you can use money on. Use it to... Well, I've died a couple of times. I actually need to go somewhere and probably repair. But right now, I'm just... Well, let's see. If these are... I don't know if... I don't know if guild traders can have the option of repairing goods. Let's find out. This one's honor to sell you the high-quality goods. Um, nope. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Okay, so we are going to... Right here. Molagmar. <sighs> okay. There's another, uh, orc. All right, let's see. Um, let's just go ahead. I want to check uh, how my stuff's going. Well, that's not too bad. Let's look at what... Um, no, that's not too bad. My uh, weapons and armor are still in pretty good shape. They don't need to be repaired or recharged anytime soon, so we're still good. I see a fetcher fly hive golem. Yep. Couldn't remember if it was a golem or an atronach. Come on. Oh, no, you don't. Did the Scuttler survive all that? <laughs> he did. <laughs> I was actually deliberately trying not to kill that little critter just to see if I could pull it off. Luckily, I did. Carapace. There's a fetch fly and a fetch fly. I don't know why I'm doing that. Okay, um, let's see. Hey, we're not even in the right area yet. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Copper. Oh, man. This game is so far behind. Oh, I was going to say, where was that? Nern root. I'll just grab it. Alright, we'll go around. Hmm. 
So this is where we're supposed to go. It's right here. All right. This is, yeah, here's a trail. Oh, goody. We get to fight Kwama warriors. And of course, I did. I wanted to attach that to the warrior, not the worker. But let's see how well that worked. Whoops! Is that a sh yeah? There's a couple of shinies. Ew! Or a chalcum, or orc metal, as I prefer to call it. And some maple. And is this the way to go? Or is it just... No, it was just jerking me around. That's alright. I got a couple... Well, here's something too. Columbine. And apparently there were some bugs on it. Whoa! Nick socks. That was weird. It looked. It all. Because there was a uh, looked like a body laying there underneath it, almost like it tackled my blast bones before my blast bones got to it. Something happened kind of quick. Hello, birdie. Little red bird. You see him right there? And there's a couple of uh, Nix oxes, Nix oxen, grooming. I'm seeing them a lot more, I guess. Now that I saw that one, I'm maybe just not really noticing that I'm actually paying more attention. Let's see, where are we headed? Well, we're almost there, wherever we're supposed to go. Okay, so we have to explore, explore this place. All right. What's down there? A bandit. Couldn't tell you they were glowing. This will be a surprise for them. That'd be a heck of a, a way to get someone's attention, you know? You're just crouched down, minding your own business. And then all of a sudden, this skeleton comes out of nowhere jumps in the air, lands on you, and explodes. Oh, the other one died over there at the camp. Okay. Oop. Water skin? Let's go see if there's anything up here. Heavy sack. An intermediate chest.
Hmm. Beach bow of frost and a war maiden's ring. Well, I don't have time to to look at that stuff yet. What was that? Oh, fish. Fish. Why can't I have a fishing pole? I want a fishing pole. Fine, be that way. Alright, so... Looks like I'm supposed to go... Hmm. Columbine. So, I'm supposed to... Explore... So it kind of looks like I'm supposed to explore this way. What do you want? Hang on. Is that something? Ooh, a copper. With a lockpick in it, of course. There's a drink. And that's it, huh? I'll talk to her. You stink of incense and hookah smoke. Did that beast Gothrin send you? Something like that. His servant sent me here to gather up Gothrin's stolen goods. We are not goods. Vashanti and her friends prepared to leave this cursed island. No more lashings. No more bitter food. Only the light of the moons drifting across the purple sea. We only took Gothrin's belongings to pay the smugglers. I won't keep you from escaping. I need the tome, the gold, and the amulet. Bright moments. This one thanks you, Walker. We stored Gothrin's trinkets in crates nearby. The smugglers will groan at their absence. But we would rather face the wilds alone than go back to tell Aru. I like her. I mean, I like her, her coloring and her markings. I just wish her face had more, I don't know, more depth to it. I know it just, it seems, it seems, uh, her face seems bland somehow. I don't know why. Um, I'll tell Gothrin I couldn't find you. Good luck. Wait, what was that noise? Greetings, Outlander. Cetera Rolasa sends her regards. Gathering up these slaves on our own would have been exhausting. No, no, no. Damned cats. You lot are going back to tell Aru. Move out. You heard the captain. Get moving, Kerr. No, Darsha will not go. Darsha is free at last. Don't kick yourself over Relasa out maneuvering you. Trust me, you never had a chance. Relasa Delvi sent you? Of course. You didn't think she'd let that flat headed Aerith out nix her, did you? Oh, and don't bother looking for those other stolen goods. My troops have the situation well in hand. Thanks for all your help, Noir. So long. I'm leaving. Well, that didn't go as we had hoped, did it? The slaves end up going back. They get the and the goods. We yep, yeah, we got outmaneuvered. All right, we have to go all the way back there. Ugh. I'm just going to do it. It's a good thing I got a lot of money. <laughs> God, the stream is so far behind. We're still talking to Sun and Shadow from the last time. It's just taking forever for it to catch up. There's the, uh, what was he, Gwar-loving or Nyx-loving bard? All right. Talk to Sun and Shadow. Once again, it's been a pleasure. Farewell, Sun and Shadow. Hmm, what was that all about? There you are. I'm glad you're back. I just had a fruitful conversation with our friend Aerith. Seems that I'm not the only one Relasa's holding back. I think it might be time for a less conventional strategy. What do you mean by less conventional? I underestimated Relasa. I see that now. 
she plays the game far better than I do. The only way to win a game like this is to eliminate the player. Wait, you're asking me to assassinate Rolasa Delvi? That's your plan? I know how it sounds. I take no pleasure in it. It's just an unfortunate necessity. Half the Talvani hierarchy arranged an opening at some point in their rise to power. If you deal with Rolasa, Aerith takes her place. It's the best place, Aerith. <laughs> You could put either, all right, I'll help you assassinate Rolasa, or I'm not an assassin, I won't do it. But since she's such a witch, of course I know I've cussed worse than that. Since she's such a bitch, <laughs> we'll go ahead and take her out. I knew you'd see reason in me. Trust me, no one deserves this fate more than Rolasa. You may have a Delvani's heart in this role. Aerith told me that Velasa entered her room in the council house just a few minutes ago. Good luck, my friend. Be discreet. All right, goodbye. Be discreet. Yeah, we're going there. Okay, where are we headed? Over there, so not that, not terribly far. Right here, yep. If you were looking for that evil tempered Tavani witch, she went into that room. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything in here? Oh, it's all stealing. Can we... Where'd she go? Boy, she moved quick. Can we talk to her? Nope. Mouth audience chamber. So, the lizard thinks she can kill me? Come on, then. I'll have her skin for gloves. After I deal with you. Okay, so, um, inventory, no, not inventory, collections, collections, allies, assistance, fezzes, fezzes. Friends, you seek to sell on a school? <laughs> Friends, you seek to sell on a school? Let's see. Okay. That gives me a few pieces left. Well, piece, you know, inventory spaces. Come on, Fezzes, you can hang out. I need to get somewhere where I can break stuff down, is what I really need. Trying to think of the best place to do that. Well, oh, Sun of Shadows right there. I was going to head towards that way shrine. It's 
done? Thank you, Sarah. Not many people would take a life for their friends. At least I hope we're friends. The house makes it difficult to tell sometimes. Eric and I spoke just moments ago. Things should move quickly. I hope it was worth it. Eric assures me that the council will accept my petition now. So yes, I'd call this success. Hopefully no one will give me cause to do this again in the future. Once again, you have my thanks, Sarah. I hope you will consider working with me again. All this may backfire on you, Sun and Shadow. I admit our handling of the Rolasa situation was stressful for both of us. I hope we can move past it, though, as friends. Come visit me sometime. I'll make it up to you, all right? I bought some very fine Kishi tea tea I've been dying to try. I'll think about it, but I'm not your assassin. This may surprise you, but the higher I climb, and the more powerful I become, the lonelier it gets. A true Telvanni life always involves some seclusion. But I value our friendship and Ioki's affection. I'd hate to lose either of them. I understand. I'll stop by when I can. Meet Sun and Shadow in her home. But where is that sh shrine? I want to go to the shrine because we need to get rid of stuff. And I don't know where there's a pl if there's a place here or not. I don't think there is. Let's check the map. Let's see. That's a cooking fire. Guild trader. Um, mystic alchemist. This table. Nah, it's there's not enough stuff here. No, okay. So I need to get to a place where I can break stuff down. Well, I know where I can. I always know where I can go. I can always go to elsewhere. Go to Rimen because I know that place very well. It helps if I put the cursor over the Rimen Way Shrine, doesn't it? <laughs> so yep, we're popping it elsewhere, but just long enough for me to uh, run into the uh, crafting area. Oh, gosh, the stream is so far behind. So, just so you know, the end of the stream, I mean, when I leave and I, and I bring up the ending uh, screen, that's going to be up for quite a while. That's going to be up long enough to where I see the stream catches up because I, I learned if I just end the stream, then it ends the signal completely and then this just pretty much doesn't get any more sent to it at least that's how it did it the one time so i may have the ending screen up for five maybe ten minutes i mean unfortunately you got to do what you got to do all right why can i not see her now Oh, because of the stream or the their heads missing. Somehow I think it's just got it all load up. Okay, I was wrong. That is quite the interesting. I know that's. I seriously think that's not a costume. That's probably a a polymorph. It's kind of cool though. Oh well, we're not here for that. We're not here for that. I do believe her name was Nathronda. Yep. Oh, Nathonda. Well, let's see if I got anything first. Inventory. Let's let's check if I got anything. Um, that gives maximum health. Nope, that gives magicka. Oof. Oh, that's part of the Undertaker set. Oh, it just gives healing taken. Um. Heck, that's almost that's almost double the maximum health. Uh um, Yeah, let's do that chest. Oh, I don't think I'll be getting rid of that anytime soon. 
Nope. All right. Shoulders. What do we got here? Oh, that's stamina. Um, Magicka. Nope, I'd be getting rid of some of the Warrior Poet set, and it's doing pretty good. I guess some more max, some more health if I got another piece. I don't see how I would. I'd have to be in. Oh, well, no, I'm in Vardenfell. So. Um. Could happen. Oh, stamina, of course. Why not? Well, of course, it says stamina, I know. Ah, uh, what do we got here? Well. Legs? Anything? Feet? That's Undertaker set, but that's only one piece. Um. Check the neck. What do we have? Anything interesting? Uh. Well, that one's a little bit better than what I have. I think. No, that's not what I thought it was. It's feet cost, so yeah, I don't want that. Uh, do I have any more rings? I can't use those. S add spell damage and maximum magicka. Mm, let's see. We'll do that one. Okay. Um, I don't think I have a better main hand. No. All right. So we should be able to get rid of some of this stuff now. Deconstruct. And I, yeah, so we'll get rid of that. Okay, now up here to the blacksmithing station. I probably should just start selling some of this stuff since I'm not actually, um, did I go through everything? No. Since I'm not actually, uh, crafting, I should just try selling this stuff. Yeah, I'm keeping hold of the Warrior Poet's Dagger for the time being. You know what? I think I'm just going to sell the rest of the stuff to Nathonda. Stuff I don't need. Well, let's go. I know I've got stuff up here. Let's see. So I'll, I'll dump those three recipes and that thing off until I get higher level. Well, even though it's zero, that's all right. 